Welcome back. Unfolding further this week, the most far reaching scandal to plague the Houston Police Department so far this century. 264,000 criminal allegations kicked to the curb without investigation. First, a little perspective from last May when Houstonians were assured overall crime was on a steady decline. Overall crime is down, and that is to be commended. Yet we are still seeing phenomenal progress. One violent crime is too much, but we are trending in the right direction. I will say one safe Houston is working. Now fast forward eight months with Mayor John Whitmire wrestling with a massive dereliction of duty and delivering the unvarnished truth. Previous statements by the city of Houston about crime was going in the right direction. It's been revealed that that was a spin because the credibility of the data collected by HPD and released to the public for at least the last eight years is flawed and been misrepresentative of the true facts. Panel, the mayor also named his independent review panel headed by former city council member Ellen Cohen to help clean up this colossal breakdown. Mm. Paul Castro, as you've watched this unfold, what are your thoughts? That's infuriating. Um, these aren't just numbers, these are victims, right? And people are saying, well, some of them are property crimes. Well, if anyone's had their car broken into and glass broken and had to repair that and come out of pocket, uh, that counts, right? That takes money out of people's college funds, out of their food budgets. So each of these is an important case. And the fact that I've been told, and many other people who've been advocating for stronger law enforcement presence, I keep getting told, crime's coming down, you're an idiot, you're not paying attention, listen to the data, listen to the data. Well, here's the data, and I haven't heard anybody say, I'm going to walk back everything I said, you guys were right, crime has been terrible, and now they're saying, oh, we don't know, we don't really know what's happened. What does that mean? So either our data is being, uh, either we're being lied to, or we don't have the capability of tracking our data. Each of those is problematic in a different way. Um, I'm sure Mayor Whitmire and, and Chief Fenner are going to be coming back looking for additional staffing to staff into this gap and to make sure that that code is never used again. Gary, uh, if the books were cooked, so to speak, on the crime <laughs> stats, uh, I'm guessing you were not surprised. No, I'm not surprised. It's part of that pattern of the last eight years of uh, manipulation and, and basically misinformation. I mean, people should be apologizing, but look deeper into this problem. We know that the police department has been grossly understaffed in patrol and in investigation. That's been going on for a long time, so they just found a convenient place to throw the cases. They didn't have time to deal with it. I know they're busy. I deal with HPD detectives all the time. I have a good relationship with a number of the homicide detectives given the nature of my practice, they talk about. They're, they're over, overworked. They don't have enough time to deal with all the cases they have. I said, well, why don't you all just bring in more people to help you? And they said, well, they haven't done that yet. So that goes on, Turner. It, 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 to some extent, it goes on the police chief that he didn't say anything about it. Why didn't you say you needed more people in investigation? Tomorrow, Bell has face-to-face -face interaction throughout this city and neighborhoods. You've been telling us people don't feel safe while the previous administration telling us crime is going down? Uh, in 2021, we had our own crime uh, meeting because of the crime that was going on in Third Ward. Everybody know during COVID, crime really strike. I mean, people were doing things that they generally didn't used to do. And so uh, our neighborhood was really running rampant. And so we had this press conference. But, you know, the thing... Last week, I watched the show, and Chris Tritico was on here, and he was the first person who corrected some of the uh, language that was used uh, and being put out here because nobody has said <laughs> Acevedo. This started under him, but that's not what people want to say. And in 2021, Chief Fenner told them when he discovered it that summer, hey, y'all don't even use that code no more. How many more investigators? They didn't release some of the emails. So don't say he didn't ask, because he asked, who can I get to help y'all? And they were like, we got in control. He was lied to by an assistant chief. And that name will come out pretty soon, because somebody told me that was who was supposed to be appointed as chief of police. Mm. So that name will come out. That was who was supposed to be replacing Troy. So that will all come out. But the fact that this has been going on, you from Gary, I'm from Gary. All of y'all watch TV. You heard about corruption in Chicago police going back to Capone. This ain't no news. How they gonna, that blue line, they gonna protect 
each other. So this should be about protecting the citizens and making them feel confident.